Well, when it comes to energy conservation, the biggest difference is often one we make right at home. So when Northwest Technology Center's Darren Slater decided to build his dream home, it was with energy conservation in mind. When we thought of green, we thought of the word uh, energy efficiency. And when energy efficiency rolled into our mind, we thought about cost savings. And so when we thought about green, and green means to us, is the ability for us not necessarily to save uh, cost in construction, but to save money and energy over the life of our home. Green building to me is sustainable, using sustainable products, and building a house or a building is so that it is as energy efficient as possible, so that in the future it's not using up any more energy than it did in the beginning. Energy prices will keep going up, they're never going to start going down. So if you can create a, a, a product, a house or a building, that it increases their energy costs uh, if the energy goes up two or three percent in cost per year well if, if we can make it so that the upfront cost is fifty percent less than a conventionally built building then it's you're gonna get money back because if your utility bills are hundred dollars a month versus two hundred dollars a month if you're going up three to five percent per year in energy costs yours are gonna go up less than everybody else's um, there's a lot of products that help you do that um, uh, one product is structurally insulated panels uh, like this one that use uh, expanded polystyrene foam core uh, oriented strand board on, that is laminated to the inside and the outside. Uh, uh, expanded polystyrene is the same thing in a coffee cup. And if you have hot coffee in a cup and you can see that that thin layer of foam keeps your hand from burning or if it's cold keeps it from getting cold. Well, that's, a, that's about an eighth of an inch thick cup. This is five and a half inches of it. So. In a, in a building structure, by doing that, you're lowering your bills 40 to 60 percent with super insulated structures. Uh, to me, the green movement has taken big steps in linking efficiency along with uh, cost points, and that's allowed uh, really homeowners and new homeowners, considering those, those pieces, to uh, become educated and also be able to afford to utilize those, those energy pieces. The other products that we have in this house, we're using a, geo, a geothermal heat pump, which is a ground source heat pump. Uh, there's, there's a lot of tax rebates right now that are helping people overcome the high cost of those, but a geothermal heat pump will actually save a homeowner another 25 to 30 percent over what they would have been paying with a conventional heating and air system. It's actually been a plus for us. It's allowing us to move into a green energy source and use that technology and come back to a comparable price with what traditional uh, heat and air systems would be. Typically, the, the, the energy use of this house will be about 50% less than a conventionally framed home. Uh, the other parts of that is, is the green industry is also not just about the products that go in it, but how the house is built. The, you know, in order to get very energy efficient, you need to make the house as tight as you can. So we really take a lot of steps to do that. Um, and if you look at the walls, we've got black tape on every seam where the OSB joins each other so that we don't get any air movement through there. The big thing that we looked about and are excited about is living in northwest Oklahoma, we get the benefit of every weather pattern that Oklahoma gets to experience. We get the extreme colds and we get the extreme heats. And I guess we couple those with the only those people from Northwest Oklahoma can love is the wind along with it. And as you know, the wind drives both of those uh, environmental factors extremely, extremely difficult. So we're excited about the opportunity to see how that's going to, one, affect our energy source and how the home is constructed in terms of the air tightness of it, how it will deal with those ever-changing elements. You know, the, the green movement is, is gaining a lot of momentum. Uh, experts have been saying that they think over the next four, for four to five years it'll grow about 12% per year. That is, that's huge in the housing industry, especially when housing, the housing starts are down as low as they are right now. Well, that means that for every 100 houses that's built, 12 of those are probably going to have many green products in them. We're very fortunate here in northwest Oklahoma that we have a, con a contractor that has taken the initiative to stay current in this technology and is bringing that technology to us here in our part of the state. The biggest issue people have though is upfront cost. Wait a minute, we didn't, that doesn't matter what the upfront cost is because you don't pay for it all at once. You pay for it monthly once you take your mortgage out. 
and part of your payments are going to be your utility payments. So if you factor in that you're saving 50% on your utility costs, the, the energy efficient house is going to cost you less per month than that cheaper conventional house. So the, the more that you can get into a house up front, even if you pay a little bit more for those products up front, you'll recoup those costs. Potentially this house will recover those costs in the first three to five years. After that, it's like just putting money back in your bank. Now to see how a growing number of Oklahomans are counting on their energy savings from up above, go to OKHorizon.com and click on this week's Value Added.